Good morning. We out here. Good evening. Whatever you got. We in this. We back at it. I'm gonna look at that old school Peterbilt. I think it's nice though, right? Oh, we got a nice little light job this morning. I'm using my heavy Ranger Mutt light tester. And it is a, it's a pretty good machine. Seems to have no issues with it. Got it plugged up. And it looks like we got some lights out. Alright, so it's looking like we got this one out. And we got our tag light out. Brake lights all work. Marker lights work. The clearance lights. And this marker light works. So I'm gonna look on my whole look over here. And I'm thinking our issue probably gonna be somewhere in this harness. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart. See if we can't find. Alright, we out. Okay, so we got I'm uh, trying to figure out what we got going on because we got power to our clearance lights. That's these right here going up. We got power to our, our other marker light over on the other side. We got this junky mess here. And for some reason, um, I believe that this is our issue. So we're gonna go ahead and diagnose that, figure that out, and then I think that's gonna help us out with our tag light, which I believe is powered by this. So we will, we will see what we got. And if we gotta wire this tag light in, then we may just wire it in with the rest of our stuff. Okay, we got somewhere. So this, this is bad. This is not, this is not working. It's not great. Can't really see, sorry. There we go. All right then, this is bad. We also got this harness that was in here was bad. So we're gonna bypass it. And I got power to the clearance lights. I got power to this one. We got a replacement tag light. We will install that. And let's see if we get all our lights working. But I'm pretty sure we're good to go. I'm getting power to here. This is my clearance lights. And this is my marker light. So yeah, we're gonna wire it all in and see what we got. All right, so to a quick recap, I found my voltage it's here and the harness that is supposed to transfer it to the marker here, the clearance lights and the tag light is bad. So I'm having to bypass. So basically I'm just gonna be putting these all together um, at different spots. I'm not gonna do it all in one spot. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all said and done and hopefully we got power everywhere. All right, we got her. Got her buttoned up. Zip tied up. All my lights is working. Here it's the most important, which, good sight it I had it all wired and for some reason that one didn't want to work I don't know if it's my jump box up there isn't isn't putting out 12 volts only puts about 8 volts if it just wasn't didn't have enough power but basically I just had to cut into another part of the harness and um, I just wired it in there and then it, it worked so maybe I just had too many things wired together in one spot um, that could very well may be But yeah, we got it done the easy trailer job and Yeah, hopefully we helped you out just a little rundown Figure out why the light isn't getting power if it's getting 12 volts It's probably your light if it's or 8 to 12 whatever you're using to test if it's not getting that Then it is most likely somewhere in the harness and then you can pretty much just go back and work your way back in the harness you know, as you can see, it, it the wires start up here and they go back there. 
these are I hate these style where they they, they tap these in because um, you got to tear apart this whole thing just to get to this back area and a lot of the times your damage will be back here um, in the arc scenario it wasn't it was over here in the side in this harness uh, let me see if I can find the ends of it here it is so these ends are what go bad so I was getting power through but I wasn't getting to the harness so that's basically why I had to rewire the thing and yeah if you got any comments uh, feel free to give me a call questions uh, let me know and we can help you figure this out all right we out